Eric Sam YC here we back here with a new video today and today is gonna be like a little reaction video to a video that me and my sister for those that don't know me and my sister was on a TV show it's called it's called the Karamo show and what we said on that TV show was very personal that involves us as like our like behind the scenes like what goes on behind the scenes like you know and me as like a content creator as an influencer it's only right for me to open up like my experiences especially for my sister for our passes our past experiences our past traumas and i, I we're gonna react to this video and i want you to be pleased like after the video i want everybody to please like be respectful um i just want you to be mindful towards the things that what me and her said in the in the video in the show as well and please like you know this is all out of respect. This is coming from like a personal place, like a personal standpoint. And I just want you to be like very respectful on what's being said in this. Because what we said was very personal between us and each other and our family. And that's, I just want to react to the video so y'all have much of more of an understanding towards my behalf. And yeah, hope y'all like, comment, subscribe with 100k no cap. Thank you for, eight, we almost at 80k, let's get an 80k, 100k before the fashion, and I hope y'all enjoyed this video, hope y'all will be able to understand me more, <laughs> and hope y'all enjoy. Hello, my guest Eric is a big brother, worried about his TikTok twerking tween sister Melanie. Melanie is 14 and has already been arrested four times. She likes to smoke weed and stay out all night until the sun comes up, and Eric is here. That's a fact, I ain't gonna lie, that's a fact, yo. When I tell y'all with my little sister, she don't care. She'll be outside. Like, she'll leave the crib. There was this one point in time where, like, my mother did not want my sister to leave. So my sister escaped from the fire escape behind the window of my crib in the kitchen. And, yo, that was the most, yo, she was, she was on some crazy time, son. Huh? Wants to give his little sister a reality check. Everyone, please welcome Eric to the show. Eric. Hello, how you doing? How you doing? Good to meet you. Good to meet you, too. Um... Okay, how old are you, first of all? I'm 20 years old. 20 years old. Why are you worried about your sister, Melanie? She's 14 years old. She's, like, honestly, I'm being real with you. There's no way a control, like, to control her at all. Uh-huh. What's the list of concerns you have about her? She got arrested four times. Mm, that's a fact. My sister did get arrested four times. That's <sighs> a fact, son. I, I don't even know how to handle this child, because she do whatever at this point, for real, for real. She smokes marijuana. She leaves whenever she feels like it. And as well as she's sexually active, which is very concerning me as a 14, like me as a 20 year old brother, because anything can happen to her. God forbid she comes home pregnant. So tell me about Melanie's TikToks. She twerks as a 14 year old child. She believes she could be able to do it. Yeah, she. My little sister thinks she could be able to be acting bad on the internet. No, come on, you gotta, you gotta look right. I want, I want you to look more presentable. Like, come on, love. Like, mamas, I, I love you and I care about you, sis. Like, come on. Would she feel like it? That's your sister right there? Melanie? Yeah, that's her. What happens when you talk to Melanie? She's in that rebellious phase of herself. What happens when your mother tries to talk to her? Albers. They start to fight? They start to fight. Why do you think Melanie acts this way? There's really nobody to really mentor her to do anything smart. Got him. Is your father in the house? Yeah, he is. He's in the house. What does he have to say about this? My father is one of those, one of those fathers where like, he's around, but as much as he's not around. My family owned a restaurant, so as much as he wanted to talk to her, all of that, it's just no way to form a contact with her. Because he's always at work. Yeah. So does he live in the house with your mother and your sister? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the thing about my past experiences. Um, I grew up in a family household where, like, I never had that type of love and affection. So whenever it came to my first ever relationship, it was hard for me to even actually be with somebody because I never seen my father give my mother roses. I never seen my father take my mother out. I never seen like all those like you know those parent th that parent love that show each other love like I never seen that like you know my my family my, my family and my mother would mostly prioritize was like their work instead of like you know the kids I ain't gonna blame her for that because you know that's that's their bread and butter but it's like you know damn I wish I would have had that like that love with my pops because to me to still still to this day this that that bothers me for real for real that really bothers me and it's like a deep thing that's something I have to only me that I could fix but. It's something more uh, in depth that I gotta work on with my, within myself. But of course, I'm grateful for ever even, you know, talking to my parents or even having them around. Cause some people don't even have the fortune enough to even spend time with their family, spend time with their father and mother. So I'm grateful for that, you know. How many hours would you say he spends at work? 12 hours. 12 hours. Do you feel responsible for your sister, Melanie? Yeah. Why? Because as much as I am his older brother, 
there's no one really putting like their eyes on her, checking her, what she's doing, taking care of her, concentrating her. Yeah, I get that. <laughs> Do you still live in the house? Yeah. So you see when she's sneaking out, you see what's going on. And when they get to outbursts, like between her and your mother, do you usually get in the middle of it? I, I have to, unless it becomes extreme. Like, there was this one instance, um, one of her arrests was, like, my little sister and my mother got an altercation to the point where, like, my sister pushed her to the point my mother tried to call the cops. It was more for them to teach her a lesson, but imagine only as a child how she would feel. I get it. I understand. So she's been arrested. Yeah, like, in that type of situation, like, my mother and my sister did get an altercation. Um, my little sister did get locked up for it. Um, it was very much day room. I even told, I even spoke to my mother like, "You ain't really have to do that because that's really too much." Because imagine, imagine you as a as a fourteen year old kid, your mother sending you to jail because you and you and your mom's got into an altercation. That will that would be fake crazy. I ain't gonna lie. Times what are the four times four? The four times four with the marijuana. She got caught with marijuana. Mm -hmm. The fight with my mother, uh -huh. and the two instances was between her hanging out with these group of friends, and they got caught stealing or whatever she want to do. All right, well, everyone, are you ready to meet Eric's little sister, Melanie? Yeah. Melanie, please come on out. Hello. Welcome to the show, Melanie. Hi. Can I have a hug? You can give me two arms. Oh, okay. All right, thank you. How you doing? I'm good. I'm fine. Good, How good, about you? Good. I'm good. So, you heard your brother, he's concerned about you. I don't know what he's concerned about. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, she, she come over here mad hot. Like, we over here at the show trying to talk to our problems and see what's up with you. Like, come on, bro. What do you think he's concerned about? I don't know. He should be concerned about himself. I don't know what he's concerned about. About myself? Yeah, I'm worry about yourself. Anywho, back to you. He brought you here because you've been arrested four times. Yeah. How do you feel being 14 and being arrested four times? I mean, I feel like... Plenty of more 14-year-olds, probably 13-year-olds, got arrested more times than me. Nah, don't say that, bro. What? I'm just saying. Am I lying, though? Because everybody be else... Worse. What are you talking about? I'm not talking to you. Tell me. Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah. So you think other kids have been are getting arrested four I times? I mean, I know well. females that's like thirteen getting arrested. But right that's now. them. That's not true, though. All right, I'm you're, not you're talking to you, though. Well I'm not as... talking to you, though. Like you moving like so much as a father. Like I'm telling you, like the the people should be hanging around with y'all. She gotta she gotta fix that group of that group of friend group right there, cause that's not it. When you talk about getting arrested, were you upset? Do you think it's okay? I mean, yes, I was upset, but it is what it is. Mm. What do you see for your future? Mm. What you want? I mean, I want to become filmy. I want to have my own business. What kind of business? Like have a lash business type something Cute. like I that. I like that. Yeah. Okay. I see you. All right. Yeah, if you're, that's not taking no. Stop over. talking to me. I'm not talking to you. So I see that anytime your brother says something to you, sort of cut him off. What is it about your brother trying to talk to you about what's going on that makes you feel I like mean, I'm, I'm done with it? We, right. You was a teenager before. Everybody in here used to be a teenager, so I don't know what's the problem. They wasn't. They definitely wasn't acting the way how you was acting. All right, so mind your business. So you stay out all night? Like what, school days? Yeah. Okay, I will come home like around 12. You're lying. She comes home around like 1 or 2 a.m. Or sometimes I stay at my friend's house and then from there I go to my, from to school. Yeah. And how are your grades? Um, you I mean, my grades is not that good. I'm not going to lie. Have you become sexually active? Yeah. You're mad Probably. young. Like, you say that you for so You got me in pride. this show because what? Because what? Weirdo. You need yeah. a re bro, what? Okay. I don't know why he acting like this. He acting mad Dave. And so you know your brother's just looking out for you though, right? Yeah, I know. Uh-huh. Like, that's, the, that's what I'm doing for her, bro. Ever since, like, yo, I'm looking out for her. I'm looking out for my sister, making sure she good. Because at this time, I'm not going to lie, at this point in time, I be feeling like I have to be the parent. And it should never be like that, bro. Like, I have a, there's a mother and father for a reason. And I always have to put in that type of role to the point where, like, I have to pause whatever I have to do for her. And it's exhausting for me to even do all of that because it, it, it sets me back only as an individual on the things that I'm trying to do for myself. When my parents could really step in and just try to talk to her and do the job for her, like... Honestly enough, like, I'm trying to do the best between us and our family, but it's just, like, I don't really know what to do, bro. I feel like he's doing too much. You should be acting your age. Are you weird? You should be acting your age. That's what you should be doing. Hold on, hold on. Like, for example. For example what? 
So she she continues to post these TikToks about her body and doing all of this. Do you think there's an issue with your TikToks? It's just me doing me. If y'all got a problem with it, I don't know what to tell y'all. What's your issue? That was completely out of line for a minor to be doing that, shaking her ass on the on the internet. I told people to ban her account. Thank God I enough mean, people banned her account. Anywho. Anywho. Did people ban your account when he did that? Yes, he's like, who does that? Of course, thank y'all. Thank y'all, everybody who banned her account. Thank you. I'm asking you a question. Do you feel misunderstood? Yes, because it's like everybody just sitting here judging me because I'm acting this type of way, but nobody knows why I'm acting this way. Why are you acting? Nobody knows about my background. What is the reason? All right, so you know me. I used to be young. First of all, I don't know who just said yes, please. Y'all want to get it on? Y'all want to get it on? All right, and we can be to get it on when we get out of here, because I don't know why you talk like that. I don't know why you talk like that. I didn't ask you, where about your daughter, not about me? Why are you here? Why are you not watching about your daughter? Your daughter belongs in the street. Okay, so All right, so I'm going to tell you. Talk to me. The reason why I act this way is because it's like, ever since I was little, I, my mother and my father was never around. It was always my grandmother. I was living in a toxic household. It was like this one day where... I did end up getting raped, yes. And it was like, it was very hard for me because nobody, nobody like understood me. Everybody thought that I was lying. I was not lying at all. So yeah. Give me a hug. You just hit that. I'm sorry. Yeah, um, despite the fact that, you know, that did happen, um, I try my best to be around and try to care for her ever since the situation that had happened. And I, like I care about her, like I genuinely really care about my sister. Like ever since then, it's just been you know it's been calmer. Like obviously you've seen y'all seen the videos how I was before, but ever since that situation happened, it was just like I cooled it because it's I shouldn't be able to bash my sister every time she do something wrong because of the fact that she went through something very traumatic, and that's something I would never wish on nobody ever at all because that type of experience would change you forever. And my sister is a very strong woman for even to actually be in, to confront and say that to the public. Because honestly enough, me as a brother, like when she told me that, I was really like upset and I was I was angry. I was I had mad rage in myself and I just wanted to do like I wanted to do something crazy. But the most I could do is just mentor my sister and just lead her to the right path between her life and just all these decisions that she has to make for herself because she's 14 now. And imagine like if she continue going on the wrong path in the future, where that's gonna lead her? That's gonna lead her nowhere for real. So I just wanna be, I just wanna be grateful enough that you know, I still have my sister here with me to this day. I still show her love and affection as much as I can because that's the, that's the, as much as I could do for her, you know? So. That's why, like, I have been really, I've been chilling, y'all. I've been chilling on my sister, y'all, because, you know, y'all don't know the background, the, the, the backstory, what be, what, be, what be going on in the past, in the background. And, you know, it, we be going through a lot, like, for real, for real. Like, you know, not not everything I post on the media is all sunshine and rainbows. When the camera's off, is I be, we be going through shit, too, as well, like every other human, you know. And I really love my sister. And I just want to be grateful for enough that I still have her with me to this day, you know. It could have been worse for real, for real, yeah. I love her. I really love my sister, bro. Yeah, so that's why I act this way. And um, people say I'm too grown for my age. I don't think I'm too grown. I'm too mature. For everything that I've been through, I learn and I live from it and I move on. That's me. That's basically my whole entire life. That's basically what I've been doing. So it's like the fact that certain people just sit here and be like, nah, look at her. I know she, she be, I know she don't listen to her mother. I know she'd be doing this. I know she'd be doing that. At the end of the day, my mother is very hard on me and everything. I certain times I don't listen to her, but my mother got, you know, boundaries for me and I do not pass them boundaries. Agree that just sometimes your sister listens to your mother's boundaries. At times. Yeah, at times she takes it into consideration, but sometimes she just does whatever she loves to feel. Yeah, and I, I truly care about you as well. Like you know, I love you. You're my sister. You know, God forbid I see something crazy happen to you. Did you know that happened to your sister? And did people not believe her because they thought that she was just acting out? Yeah. And that happens to a lot of young girls. 
because they exhibit behavior that people think is wild that all of a sudden they dismiss when they tell you they've had pain or trauma. Yeah. Females that's going through this right now, I feel like, I feel so sorry for them because it's like, I've been there. I get it. And so now you sit in a household where you got a lot of pain you've been dealing with. You feel alone. Yeah. You feel like no one understands you. Mm-hmm. And you're sitting here just trying to figure out how to deal with it while also having fun as a young person. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. That's right basically here. what I've been trying to do. You do understand why they're concerned, though. Yeah, and I do understand, but, like, can I get, like, can y'all understand me, too? Like, yeah. yeah. You, you deserve that same understanding. And that's what you're screaming out. Mm -hmm. See, the thing for me is I see past when people come out and they're trying to be wild and they do all this stuff. I actually see a smart young girl. She's telling y'all, like, what she's doing. She's telling y'all, like, she's aware. This is a very smart young woman. But it's also a young girl who has a lot of pain. Yeah. And when you experience trauma, like what she expressed, and when you also have a family that he also described where the father is always at work, not around, where your mother is probably trying her best to survive and doing all she can, now you feel alone and like no one's around really to pay attention to you. Yeah. Do you want better for yourself? Yes, I want better for myself. How do you think you can get better for yourself? How I want to do better for myself is just doing what I got to do. Okay, so you mm -hmm. know that you need to do something. Do you understand that he's here to support you or not? Yeah, but I feel like he's supporting me in the wrong way. What way do you need him to support you? Tell I your brother. To be understandable. To sit down. Like, not sit down, but it's like, yo, Melanie, let's, let's do this, let's do that. Melanie, how you feeling? Like, you okay? You ate? You good? Like, be understandable. Do you, do you feel like you do that for her? But like, every time I try to talk to her, I have any type of sort of conversation, it's just like a slap in the face. She doesn't hear me out. I, I am a concerned brother. But sometimes I just feel like whenever I talk to you, you just give me no response back. It's like I'm talking to a wall. Why do you do that? We saw here a little bit. You yeah. shut him down. Why do you do that? I feel like how I said, you should just check up on your sister and see what, you know, why she's doing that. Why she's acting like that. So you're saying you don't want him to come to you with like, I'm judging you. Why are you doing this? You, yeah. You're staying out instead of being like, what's going on? Yeah. What happened? Exactly, like that's more that's more that I want from her, especially because I love her and she does. My sister doesn't really like open and express herself, so I try to do play my part. Like I said before, it's exhausting to play the parent, but if I have to do it to make sure my sister's good, then I'm gonna do it. You know, that's the most I'm gonna do. Like that's why I be filming a lot of videos with me and my sisters because I want to build something for us. Eventually, we're gonna separate it from each other, but. In the meantime, let's let's do something to build something for us in the future that's that we could remain good and situated with, you know? And that's what that's more or less that what I really want for her, you know. So you asked her for more emotional language instead of more like Just disciplinary in action. Yeah. Do you feel like you take on that disciplinary role because you're the big brother? Absolutely. Well, she's just telling you she don't need you to. I really don't. I just need you to have to support me, not be here for me. Do you hear that? She needs you to be there and just ask her how she's doing, not to discipline her. And the reason I ask you about the questions about your own childhood is because I want to make a parallel of, like, what happened to you in your childhood? And you said that your father wasn't there. So, like, you had similar experience. I'm sure you wanted somebody who could just be there for you and say, how you doing right now? You need anything? Can I be there for you? Sometimes we forget that people just need support and not discipline at a young age. And you need support. You're screaming out for support is what you're asking for right now. Yeah. yeah, I am. Yeah, you are. <laughs> and it's okay. If you're 14, it's okay. I'm 42 and sometimes I be screaming out for support. So it is okay. <laughs> Can you be there to support your sister? Of course. Yeah? Yeah? The right way, yeah. This is what I want to do for you. Yeah. When you get back to school, I want you to give me that next semester. Wherever your grades are now, I just want them to go up one grade. I ain't trying to tell you to have all A, just one grade. You get your grades up, I put you on personally and tell people to follow you. That is a promise I will personally make to you. If you can commit to go back to school and to get your grades up one grade. And for you, now that she knows that she has a goal that she can work to, you can say to her, hey, you got this goal. I know you want it. How can I support you? How can I be there for you? Not, Melanie, you doing this again. Melanie, you wilding out. Melanie, you doing this. Instead of that, I understand why you do it. You're a supportive and loving brother, and I'm so happy that she has you in her life. 
Because one day when y'all are older, y'all gonna be there for each other like you can't even imagine. I already see where this friendship gonna be at. Y'all gonna be 25, 30, hanging out. It's gonna be the best relationship ever. So I'm glad y'all got each other. But right now, it has to shift the dynamic if y'all gonna ever get there. So give her support. Help her with the goal that she now has through me. You go do the goal. You go get your grades up. And I promise you, I got you. And thank you. Thank you, man. For being vulnerable with my audience, okay? All right. All right. Um, everyone. See, like, you know... That's pretty much it that I really want for my sister and for us is just to, for us to be better with each other, you know. And I just want to I just want to say something to y'all like please be respectful, please be mindful because we we literally open up something very differently in our chapters of lives and we open up something very personal, something that something that is hidden trauma, something that people will actually really experience this. Like if you personally if you're experiencing this, Please, like, I want you, like, if you experience, like, a love for parents, do not hold your emotions or bottle it up. Talk to your parents on how you actually feel. Because if you keep on, because I experienced this myself, if you continue to hold up and bottle your emotions, it's only going to lead up to even bigger outbursts. So, I just want to say thank y'all for actually, like, if y'all watching this, thank you for watching this video full through. Because this is, like, y'all understanding me and my sister more on how we are and like why she acts the way how she acts and why do I, why I act the way how I act, you know. I love my sister, yeah, like you know. But I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Um, wrote a hundred k no cap. <sighs> Damn son, that's crazy. <laughs> Your boy been on TV and we just told the whole public the truth. Shit. <laughs> I hope y'all enjoyed.